guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be here again. I know it's been a while and every time I come on here, it's always been a while, but what can I say? I live a busy life as well as I'm sure many others, but here I am and I'm gonna be filming this simple look today, which obviously was not hard to achieve. I used two palettes, but you definitely can only use one if you want, but if you wanna learn how to get this look, then just keep on watching. Anything that I have used on my face or that I would like to mention like my social media or my discount codes will be listed down in the description box. So other than that, enjoy your time here on my channel. Bye guys. So first we're going to start off by, of course, priming our eyes. And today I'm going to be using the Sephora Bright Future um, Concealer. And this is in the shade Stable, which is the number 09. And I'm just going to be putting it on my lids and blending it out with my beauty blender. So just quick disclaimer, as you can obviously tell, my hair is not done properly. But anyways, let's just go right into it. So I'm going to start by priming my eyes with the concealer. Once you have blended out all of your concealer, concealer with your beauty blender, you're gonna wanna set it. So I'm gonna be taking my Morphe B17 brush and I'm gonna be dipping it into my RCMA powder. I do have it in a little container like this just because RCMA powder is difficult to get out. So I just put a little bit into here every so often. But anyways, I'm gonna be dipping it in and just setting it all together. You wanna make sure that if you've waited too long, you wanna go ahead and retouch the concealer. That way it doesn't start creasing into your eyelids. Okay, so today since I'm gonna be technically kind of freehanding this, I might just use different palettes, I'm not sure yet, but for right now, I'm gonna be going into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette, the palette that was talked about and disliked, liked, whatever. Anyways, this is what the inside looks like. Super, super beautiful. And I'm gonna be just going into the shade right here that's called New Wave, which is like an orangey color. And I'm gonna be putting that on on my entire lid with the Morphe M504 brush, which is a large fluffy brush just like this. And like I mentioned, this is a halo eye, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'll go into 35B palette by Morphe, which looks like this. And I'm gonna be going into this shade right here with a Morphe M200 brush, which is another fluffy brush, but it's to get more precise. And I'm gonna go ahead and just go right into the crease and push the outer and the inner edges with the orange, that way it can be more intense. Okay, so next we're going to be going into the same palette by Anastasia and I'm going to be taking the shade Edge, which is just this yellow shade right here at the end of the palette and this brush that I have, I have no idea the brand or there's no number on it. I just bought it off Amazon with an entire pack, but this is the brush that I'm going to be using. We are done with the eyes for right now, so I'm going to go ahead and put my foundation on. And I'm going to be taking my Born This Way foundation in the shade Sand. And also my Makeup Forever foundation, which is the HD Ultra foundation. <clears throat> and this is in Y405. I'm going to be mixing them too because my shade is a little off right now just due to summertime. So I'm going to be putting it on my mixing palette and taking my Beauty Blender by Morphe, which looks like this, and I'm gonna be putting it all over my face. So I'm gonna start off first by spraying my face with the Mario Badescu spray because my skin is very dry, so yeah.
Then once you have applied all your foundation on your face, you're going to want to go ahead and conceal your under eyes as well as your T-zone. So I'm going to go back into the shade Stable with the Sephora concealer and conceal all those areas. So I went ahead and concealed everything and then blended everything out with my beauty blender. And I also set it with my RCMA powder. And now I'm just going to take my Morphe M510 brush, which is a little fluffy brush. Well, it's not little, but it's a fluffy brush. It looks like this. And I'm just going to go ahead and dust off all my powder. So I know I might look a little scary and white and intimidating, but it's cool. We're going to fix that. And I'm going to go ahead and I'll, um, I was going to say two words at the same time. I'm going to contour and bronze my face. That way we can warm the face back up and give it some color. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my Milani Golden Baked Bronzer in the color 6, which just looks like this. You can get it at any drugstore, as well as this brush, which is the e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush, which looks like this. And I'm going to go ahead and contour my cheeks and the forehead area as well as my jawline. Everything is optional, but I would say at least do your cheeks. That way you can get a cheekbone effect if you don't already have them. By the way, something I forgot to mention is that I know the Milani Blake Baked br oh. The Baked Bronzer is a bronzer, but it's a darker shade than my skin tone, if that makes sense. So I'm using it as a contour shade. But the shade I'm going to be using next is by NYC, and it's the Sunny Bronzer by... I already said that, NYC. And the brush I'm going to be using is also by e.l.f. And you can find both of these products at any drugstore as well. And this brush just looks like this. And the Sunny Bronzer looks like this. Um, the brushes, the L. The L Powder Blurring Brush. And I'm going to use that to bronze the face up. Which the contour is more to give it like structure. And then the bronzer is to fully warm up the face. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. <laughs> I don't know if you could really tell the difference now, but I did go ahead and bronze my face up. And now we're going to be going into the blush section. I'm acting like I'm walking into a store or something saying section. But anyways, I'm going to be going into the Tarte blush in Pate. And I say like that because it's literally spelt like that. P-A-A-A-R-T-Y. And I'm going to be going into the Wet n Wild brush that has absolutely no number, but is a good price. I think I talked about it in my last video as well. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then go ahead and check it out. But it's just a large brush that I use for blush. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on the apples of my cheeks. So now that I'm all done putting blush on my cheeks, we're going to go into my favorite part, and if you haven't been here on my channel, then you need to be here now, so please subscribe. But well, the reason why I say that is because my favorite part is the highlighting process because, like I mentioned before, like I said in my last videos, I'm extra, 
so I like to be extra with my highlight because you can just never have too much highlight, you know what I mean? So I'm going to go ahead and spray my face again with the Mara Badescu spray so I can give my face a little bit of hydration back since I did set my entire face with powder. And then I'm going to be also spraying my brush, which is the Morphe, let's see if I can remember it by heart, M310 brush. Let me double check. I was right. The M310 brush, which is just a fan brush like this. And I'm, I already said that. I'm going to spray my brush and go ahead and put it on the high points of my cheeks. Oh, I forgot to mention the highlight. So the first one I'm going to be using is the Laura Geller one. And this is in Gilded Honey, a super raved about highlighter that you can never go wrong with. It is retailing for, I believe, $24 I paid for it. But yes, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Do y'all see that? And that's just highlighter number one. Oh, okay. God. So now for highlighter number dose. It is the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter Illuminator. Wow, that's a lot of words. Anyways, this is what it looks like. And is it is in the shade Molten Gold. And the number is 100. And I'm going to be using the exact same brush. So don't worry about it. The brush will be the same for all three highlighters. I will mention the next highlighter next. So real quick, something that I forgot to mention is I also do it here on my temple area and here on my forehead just so that when the light or any sun hits me, your face looks really glowy. But that's all optional. I would just definitely recommend the cheek area. But not least, the ultimate highlighter. It is by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and it is my absolute favorite. I will wear this by itself. This is in Soul Hollywood, and I'm going to just put it all over my face. Now that we're all done with the face, we're going to go on to my next favorite part, which is the eyelashes. I just really like the eyelash process because it completes the face besides the lipstick, obviously. But this really helps open up the eyes. So I'm going to be showing you the lash that I'm going to be using today, which is in style Slay by Icon. I have a discount code and I'll list it below in the description box just in case you guys want to purchase them. They do look like this. They are, whoops, sorry. They, that's what I was about to mention. They are already used, but they, okay, my lash file. These lashes are very reusable, so the price you pay for them, especially with my discount code, don't feel like you're paying a lot for them. I understand at first they are, but you can reuse them plenty of times. I think I've already used these six times, and... They look pretty good to me still. I mean, I'll keep using them until they break off or fall off or whatever, burn, you name it. I am going to go ahead and apply these offline. So if you guys want a tutorial on how to put lashes on, let me know in the comments below. But I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So as you can tell, I applied my lashes off camera and I wasn't lying. I told you they're really nice. And something else I forgot to mention is I know that the lashes that we typically buy are about a dollar, two, three, five, whatever. But if you just make this one purchase, they'll last you the same amount of time as if you were to buy the one dollar ones, but you say every week or so. But anyways, that was my point. I'm just trying to save you guys money and usages in the long run. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my lash line on the bottom and I'm going to go back into the Anastasia, Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and I'm going to go back into the New Wave shade with a Morphe M430 
32, 32, 32 brush, which is just a flat definer brush that looks like this. And I'm gonna run it under my lash line. So once I'm done buffing out the bottom lash line, I'm gonna go ahead and pop some gold color into my inner tear duct, which is this area here. And I'm gonna give you guys options, that way it can be a little bit easier if you do wanna recreate this look. So the first option I have is by Mika Beauty. Um, and this is a shimmery powder in the shade 100, I believe, which is called Amovalence. I will list it in the description box below because I can't pronounce it, but it's just a really gold shade. And you can definitely find this online or on their website. I did get this at a warehouse, so I'm not really sure where else you guys can purchase it, but this is what I mean by you can find it from an actual company because I think the one I might be using is going to be this gold um, glitter, which I got off Amazon, which you can also purchase as well, but I'm going to be putting that on the inner tear duct. So I have a third option, which are gold flakes, which I also got on Amazon, but it depends on how extra or how dramatic you want to be up to you but yes these are the three choices I have and actually now that I'm speaking I think I'm gonna put a little bit of the Mika Beauty um, in the inner tear duct just a little bit at first and then I'm gonna go ahead with the glitter and do it on top so since like I mentioned I'm gonna go in with the Mika Beauty first and this brush by Bare Minerals and it is the shaping eye brush it is double sided but I'm gonna just be using this side and I'm gonna lightly tap it into the inner tear duct Now that I've gotten with the Mika Beauty glitter, I'm gonna be going into the actual glitter that I mentioned from Amazon and this brush that's super pointy, that has no name and no number because this is part of that set that I mentioned off Amazon as well. By the way, if you haven't already noticed, Amazon has currently been my best friend. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and put that right into the center as well. And last but not least, the Kylie Lip Kit to finish off the entire look. And this is in the shade Ginger, which comes with the, lips, the liquid lipstick and the lip liner. So I'm going to be applying both of those off camera and I'll be right back. So it is really orangey, but I don't really mind. But it's completely up to you guys what lip shade you want to choose. You can go neuter, brighter. Like I said, it's completely up to you. This is the final result and I hope you guys really enjoyed this look. I'll see you guys. Bye! Go, yeah.